Oh my gosh, can you believe we we're back in the city where my YouTube career started? San Francisco. <laughs> Gotta stick to the course. Darkness is closing in and they applying the force. Gotta hold each other up when the vision is lost. By any and all means, no matter the course. Ah. What up, baby? I'm Kitty here with Atola Visuals. I'm back here. If you're an OG, you know this backdrop. It's been so weird being back here. It's been like almost two years. It's like been so long, but also feels like it's not so long. Kind of like when you see an old friend after a long time and you connect with them and it's like no time has passed and you just left off where you started. It's kind of like that. So many memories and growth just happened in this city during my professional career. We had so many Cameron Gimbal reviews and so many different hairstyles and so many mm duns. Oh my god. Done. Can you even count done. them? Mm done. I started my YouTube channel on April 13th, 2016. Wow, that's crazy. And it was mostly gear reviews and rants and little short films with one of my coworkers. We were just having fun, but we had a full-time job where we were doing talking events, sports games, and interviews, but for someone else. So YouTube became my creative outlet where I could just do whatever I wanted and I kept going with it. And the more I hit publish, the more of you found me and we just all nerded out together and you became my Atola family and that's why I call you AFAM. Years of playing with new gear, going to a bunch of camera events, meeting new YouTube friends, you guys watched me grow on this platform. We moved to four different apartments together. We made 237 videos and accumulated 6 million views. Like what? What? Me? You? I don't even know how that happened. Like just thinking about that now, 6 million people watched me is kind of terrifying, but also amazing at the same time. Like isn't it crazy thinking back on how much has happened since 2016? And that was only five years ago, but it honestly feels like two decades ago. Even just this past year feels like a whole decade. So five years is definitely two decades. I feel like I've aged so much. <laughs> Hopefully just mentally and not like this way. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm taking all that experience, so much experience and blood, sweat and tears. I cried so much. And knowledge from video conferences and all the YouTube tutorials that I watched on how to get better. And I'm putting it all together in my first MZ film course called starting a YouTube channel. Yes, Sensei Kitty is coming at you about to teach you some things. Now, do you wanna see a free teaser of one of the courses, just so you know what you're getting into? Let's roll it. So the most important part is how you get started. How do you generate ideas and story? The easiest way is to do some research first. Find what people aren't talking about yet. You don't wanna keep making the same video that everyone has discussed because what are people gonna learn from it? That's different. Talk about obviously what interests you, what do you want to teach? And maybe also what's trending can jumpstart some ideas in your brain already. You'll take these little topics and mix it with your life experience and create something personal and new for you. Limitations will also help you get creative. For example, my DJI video. I was tasked with doing something creative with their new Mavic Mini. And this was during quarantine, so you couldn't travel. I couldn't go anywhere to fly the drones because we were all in lockdown. But fake travel was trending a little bit on Instagram and TikTok. So I wanted to recreate Japan in my own house. And personally, I've always wanted to go to Japan and it's been on my travel bucket list. And I also flew the drone inside the house, which made it unique and different and people were sharing it. So the video did really well. You can also match your subject to another subject that's not even in your niche. For example, my Ronin S review, I matched the Ronin S gimbal with features to the NSX like sports mode and high torque motors. 
My audience is mostly male and I figured they'd love a sports car as a subject. So I went with this cool badass vibe with the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge as the background and lots of fun car B-roll shots for test footage with the gimbal. You might also get some topics based on the company you're shooting for if you do a little bit of research. So for my Nikon Z6 video, I knew that Nikon is typically in the photography space, but they were trying to hit a new market with videographers for this camera. So my idea was to try a bunch of new things myself. Try a new style I've never worn, explore a new location, made noodles from scratch, all the while filming B-roll with this camera. I also challenge everyone to try one new thing. So wherever you are, take a notepad, have your notes app ready because ideas will pop out of nowhere sometimes and you have to have to write them down because you will forget. Generate a bunch of ideas, don't judge yourself yet, just write down everything. Even if it's the craziest idea, sometimes those videos are the best. Then when you have gathered a bunch of ideas, sit down and prioritize which ones you actually really want to talk about. And once you've narrowed it down, take each video topic and notice what is the purpose of this video? Is it to create entertainment? Is it to sell something? Is it to give value to people? Know your audience. Is this topic going to be relatable to them? Are they going to watch the video? Is it going to hold their attention? And lastly, what is the call to action? If you study videos, you'll notice that there's always something that they want you to do with that. Subscribe, like, link in the description box below. Check out my website, for instance. What is yours? I know it's cliche to have a film course, but honestly, me and my team put in the work with this one. It is like an understatement. It was the hardest, most rewarding project I have ever done. It took a year. There's 12 videos total included, a whole downloadable roadmap, which ended up being like, like an ebook. It is thick and packed with information the entire course. So yes, I took this pretty seriously. Here's a trailer. Hi, I'm Kitty and welcome to my MZ film course where I'm gonna show you how to start your YouTube channel from the very beginning. You're gonna get every detail from picking your topics to setting up your account, content ideas, gear recommendations, and all the benefits that come from your new YouTube journey. I have a natural skill for filmmaking and bring a fresh perspective to this industry. I've used my skills for not only making YouTubes, but also content for top branded companies. I've leveraged both my filmmaking and my work experience background to create my channel under a toll of visuals. My channel started as a creative outlet which has grown over the past five years. My audience finds tips and entertainment with a collection of ways I stay creative, camera gear reviews, behind the scenes, and vlogs about my events and my life. Now it's your turn to leverage your skills and share it with the world and inspire others along the way. I really wish I had a course like this when I first started, but I kind of just had to figure it out, experimenting and watching YouTube tutorials one after the other. But here I have everything laid out and easy to understand. I can't wait to see your YouTube channel, so let's begin. I'll see you on the first course. It was so great reminiscing about all our memories and years together. And I just want to thank anyone who's been on this journey with me, even if you've watched just like one second of my videos. I want to say thank you to AVAM. I want to say thank you to my team. I want to say thank you to all my YouTube friends that just kept me going, especially when it got really hard. But at the end of the day, it was worth it and it brought so many new opportunities and possibilities and I feel like we're still just getting started. So if you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, here's your sign. The link is down below for the full course and I can't wait to see your new channels. Here's another one to add to the list. Mm, done.